Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another plug side chat. I was just thinking, is it possible to make cheaper DC fast chargers? And what sort of prompted me to do that is I was revisiting some of my old notes about making a do-it-yourself electric vehicles and some of the old projects I was researching. And there's an old DC to DC converter uh, that I that I always kind of wanted to use. It's called a Soliton Junior, but there are actually two of them. There's also just a Soliton. They're made by EVnetics. And essentially what they are is a DC to DC converter. And what that does is it, you know, adjusts the voltage and amperage that it outputs. So you use it to control a DC motor as opposed to the AC motors that you typically see in modern electric vehicles from automakers. Now, the reason that that's important is when you look at charging a battery, essentially what's happening is it's communicating with the DC fast charger and it's asking for a certain amount of voltage and a certain amount of amperage which the charger then provides to the car and then that charges the battery at a DC charge. When you look at a DC to DC converter or a DC motor controller like the Soliton, that's essentially what it's doing. And looking at the pricing of it, it's actually not that expensive. It's come down in price. So even at retail pricing, you're looking at, you know, 2000, maybe $3,000 for some of these DC to DC converters that can output more than 150 kilowatts, right? So there would need to be some adjustments to the hardware, no doubt. You'd need to be able to go to higher voltages than say 300 volts, uh, and you would probably want a higher input voltage than just 350 uh, volts input. Uh, and then of course the communication protocols would have to be added, but when you compare that to these DC fast charging stations that are converting AC over to DC and then feeding that DC power into the car, it seems like a bargain. A lot of those are 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars, especially for the higher uh, power units, the 150 kilowatt or faster units. The other benefit of just going directly DC to DC is it is far more efficient. Every time you try to convert electricity from AC to DC and then back to DC from AC, it, you have conversion losses. And it's part of the reason why DC fast charging is actually more efficient uh, for the vehicle anyway than AC charging through a level two EVSC, you know, electric vehicle supply equipment. Of course, then it begs the question of, all right, you spent a couple thousand dollars, maybe three, four thousand dollars, including the cabling and the communication protocol and all of that. But how do you get the DC power to the DC to DC converter so that you can charge the battery? Well, that's what batteries are for. And especially if you're looking at things like second life batteries where say you know the EV Go implementation in Union City where they used old BMW i3 batteries, Leaf batteries, Spark EV batteries, all of these older batteries that are no longer in use in electric vehicles or if someone wants to upgrade their batteries right that those DC batteries that are in electric vehicles could then be used in conjunction with this DC to DC converter to essentially create a DC fast charger. You wouldn't need three phase power. In fact, all you would really need is to modify the level two charger that came with that vehicle or came with that battery and hook it up to the grid. Now, the drawback to this is for high, high, high volume chargers, well, you're never going to be able to keep that battery full. You're eventually going to need to draw power from the grid at fairly high rates. So it wouldn't be a good implementation for that. 
But for chargers that are only occasionally used, it seems like it's a really good, you know, alternative to spending forty or fifty or sixty thousand uh, dollars, maybe more than that, especially when you consider three phase power that needs to be converted and then it needs to be transferred through the DC to DC controller. And then from there, you know, it, it, there's a lot of complication with the current DC fast chargers that we see uh, implemented. And there are a lot of prerequisites that they have for a site. This would allow you to use a very similar hookup to what you see with a lot of these uh, 24 kilowatt charge points that some businesses have installed. Uh, where it's a cheaper, you don't need the three-phase power to hook it up. It's only you know, 55, 60 amps or whatever, 400 volts. Well, you really don't need a faster hookup than that. You really actually aren't going to need the same footprint either. Uh, the biggest footprint would be for the battery itself. And with that, you'd end up with a charger that could just be mounted behind a business somewhere and outputting 150, 200, you know, maybe 300, 350 kilowatts, depending on the setup. Um, and it would be very reasonable and it would be very efficient. Like I said, you're not dealing with a lot of these conversions. So I, I wonder, especially a business like Evenetics, um, because I don't think right now the do-it-yourself electric vehicle market is that strong. I don't think a lot of people are doing conversions. Vehicles like the Bolt EV, like the Nissan Leaf, uh, the, the Kona Electric that's coming out, they all make electric vehicle conversions a little bit harder to justify in terms of you know return on investment. So I, I don't know how well evnetics is doing as a business in terms of their sales but you know they have a good reputation they have good hardware it might be an opportunity for them to consider hey can we do this sort of a a kit where it's a basically a standalone dc fast charger people could put them at their homes and they're you know and you benefit from having possibly just a direct grid tie uh, battery and inverter set up along with this so you're benefiting from a grid type battery uh, feeding into the grid when it makes sense taking out of the grid when it makes sense and all the while you have a dc fast charger that someone could swing by and use and paying you 20 cents 25 cents a kilowatt hour uh, for a fast dc charger that runs off of a regular household uh you know 220 volt outlet so uh anyway i'd love to hear what you think about this idea is it a little bit too pie in the sky I, it seems like a, a great opportunity to me to possibly bring costs down for dc fast chargers and make use of second life batteries if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really does help out the channel and uh thank you for watching